Hi, this is Steven from Data Video, and today I want to give you a tutorial on how to set up your computer to connect to the PTC140 camera series so that we can do product updates. Now, when the PTC140 series camera ships, it ships with a static IP address by default, which is 192.168.5.163. So the first thing that we need to do to connect to it and talk to it via its browser interface is we need to go into our, wi our Windows uh, network settings here. We're going to click that and you're going to see that we have Wi-Fi network and we've got an, a LAN network. But we're going to scroll down here, we're going to go to change adapter options and we'll leave our Wi-Fi alone, that can be left alone. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go to properties we're going to go to Internet Protocol version 4 and then what we're going to do is we're going to type in a static IP address for the network card on the computer 192.168.5.160 so we don't want to actually be the same IP address number as our camera and when you click on this it'll autofill don't worry about DNS we're going to click OK and then we'll click OK again and then we'll click OK again and or close and then we'll go ahead and we can get rid of this background window and we'll leave this open because we're going to have to come back and change this later so now what we've done is we've matched the IP address range of the computer's network card to the actual cameras network IP range so what we're going to do here is we're going to type in 192.168.5.163 and there you go. Um, we're ready to log into the camera. So now we're going to just type in admin. Admin again is the default. And we're going to go ahead and click login. What you're seeing here is there is no Flash Player. Um, Flash Player is actually going away at the end of uh, 2020. And we have a great new firmware that actually utilizes HTML5 for the preview. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and download that and we'll go ahead and uh, apply the update just so that you can see how that's done so first we're going to go to update and it's see you can see the version number okay this is the version number of it and all you have to do is go to datavideo.com and the page will load here and we're going to go and search accept this and we're going to go to PTC dash one four zero and we'll see it here in the search and we're gonna to go to downloads right here okay downloads and then here's the camera firmware and most times you'll see that we have a lot of our important documents for the cameras on the actual product page here so we're gonna download this we're gonna go ahead and save it I'll do save as and I'm gonna save it to the desktop instead of downloads and it's done. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back to the desktop. I'm going to double click it. I'm just going to drag this folder out actually. Let's see here. So we'll drag that out and get rid of the zipped version of the folder. And now we have the, the downloadable for the update. So we have two files. We have one here and one here. We're going to start with this one first. There are release notes there is an update procedure always in the zip folder when we do uh, make downloads available so we're going to go ahead and go back to our camera and we're going to browse for the file which is on the desktop and you'll see here we're going to start with this one Just select it click open you'll see that it's here we're going to go ahead and hit upgrade and it'll go ahead and process and what it's going to say is we need to log into the camera after the update so we can apply the second file so it doesn't take too long I'll let this go here so you can see it okay so basically upgrade was successful I'm going to confirm we're going to go ahead and log out while the camera reboots. I'll close this tab is what I usually do. 
and we don't probably need this page anymore so we'll just open up a new tab and what we're going to do is 92.168 and it's coming up again so there we go and now we're ready to log back into the camera again and it's going to take a little bit longer because it's going to load up the HTML5 preview um, initially after the, F, the first update file that we've just processed so I'm going to go ahead and give it I'll give it a second um, but we can actually if we want to we could bypass this if, if we wanted to but there's our preview sorry nothing really interested to look at on the camera view we're going to go to configuration again go to update browse for that second file click open and we're going to upgrade that one So great, so basically now we've updated our camera on Windows. Go ahead and log out. And we'll log back in one more time, we'll close this out. The camera will go through a little bit of an internal reboot and then it'll come back up. So when you type in the IP address again, sometimes it might be a little slow to come up, but it'll, it'll find the page and it'll load it. Just give it a second. second and it'll it'll probably pull it just as soon as it's finished with the reboot if not we'll do a refresh on the page so we refresh the page and now you'll see that it's back I would say normally on the second file you probably want to give it at least maybe a minute you log back in normally but I was trying to speed it up here so we're gonna log back in we're gonna go back to configuration we're gonna check our update to see that the version did change now what we need to do is go back to the network card settings but first we're gonna log out we'll confirm that go back to the network cards after we opened up that window we had we'll go back to properties go to internet protocol and we're going to change it to obtain an IP automatically and obtain DNS click OK that way you won't have any problems when you go to reconnect to a network later on click close and now we're finished thank you for watching